hi everyone so today i'm going to talk about how to create the decision tree model using the google collab okay this is my data set so this is i downloaded from the kaggle.com so this is a diabetic data set so in here you can see there are several features that affect to the there's a diabetic or not okay you can see these are the features in that data set so there are eight features that will affect to the outcome of diabetic or not okay. and let's go to the google collab This is my file of the Google Collab. So I already trained. So I will explain how this is going. Okay. So in order to create the decision tree model, so we need to first we need to install some libraries. Okay. So you need to import pandas. So using the pandas, you can. I import as a pandas as a pd then uh, you can able to store your data in the csv file into the panda yes, okay. so that's why I import pandas to this as a library then I get decision tree classifier from scikit-learn so scikit-learn is another machine learning in this machine learning library so framework so like you can uh, download uh, you can import some classification algorithms as well as uh, those machine learning algorithms using that scikit learn okay and also in the cycle scikit learns i import train and uh, test split uh, library because so I want to split my data set into trainer test. So that's why I import this one. Then I import matrices. So that will help to calculate the model accuracy as well as I can able to get the predictions from my decision tree model. So that's why I import matrix. So then in here this is a load data set so I load data set into the panda framework so you can you need to so you can upload your data set by uh, clicking this file icon then you can click this import icon and then you can able to install upload your data file into the Google Collab okay so I also uploaded and uh, this is temporary uploading so for example some uh, internet connection issue happens this uh, file may be deleted if you want to if you want to import experimentally you need to you need to import into the uh, google drive and then uh, you can need to you need to give the directions to the your code that file direction so then I uh, printed some head uh, informations that give the some sample informations that data set so then I uh, printed some describe of the what are the minimum mean and those counts and maximum values in this data set so then uh, then in here so I select x variable and y variable and I'll put it into the from the uh, my panda array from pan, uh, panda framework so from the uh, panda frames I selected uh, the values and I put it in the some variable as a data set and in the data set I selected uh, all the rows uh, with the column 0 to 8 as a features and also the column 8 all the rows and the 8 column as my label 
so in the label so you can see in here these are the my features and also this is the my label okay. so then uh, in here I split data set into training and testing so with the random state one as one so randomly selected and training as the 70% uh, the, the of the training and 30% uh, of the testing so and then uh, this is the uh, decision tree classifier so which I imported from scikit-learn and I uh, create a variable from that and then uh, I fit uh, using the x-train and y-train that decision tree so I train the model in here so after that uh, I pass some values some example values from my data set these values come from the this data set you can see this one okay. so this data I, I pass this data randomly uh, I pass this data and I predict the results okay you can see that prediction I uh, from the that decision tree coming as no so already it is now so that's how I created the decision tree from the um, I could learn and I'm also using the Google Code.